I'm using a party to connect to my Ubuntu server. Um, so the first thing that we're going to do is an up, up get update, uh, which I've already done. And then uh, we are going to up get install Samba. The third step is to uh, create a sub a create a directory called Samba under the root directory. Uh, next, I'm going to um, assign ownership of that directory to a group called Samba Share, which is created when we install Samba. So I'm going to say sudo change group samba share to samba okay so the next step is to create a user and assign it to this uh, samba share group and i'm going to um, assign the home directory to this user to the samba gsmith directory and uh, I don't want this user to use uh, the login so I'm going to say user has been no login and for the group I'm going to assign it to Samba share group and the name of the group and the name of the user that I want to create is JSmith so I'm going to press enter to create the user uh, next I'm going to do sudo uh, make directory samba jsmith in order to create the home directory for that user. Um, the next step I'm going to do shown jsmith samba share to give ownership of that directory to the a JS Smith group. Um, so I'm going to say Samba JS Smith. And that next, because uh, Samba uh, has a different uh, password administration that your system, we need to sync uh, the two together. So I'm going to use a SMB password utility in order to uh, assign a password to user JS Smith. And I'm going to assign a password. Uh, the next step is to create a backup uh, of the smb.conf file, which is located inside itc samba smb.conf. And I'm going to name it smb.conf.copy. Okay, so let's do an ls to make sure that we created that copy. And it is there. Uh, next, I want to uh, open the smb.com file in bi. So I'm going to say hc samba smb.com. And uh, here, the first part of the configuration file um, is the global settings. Um, here, I'm going to leave it as default. Workgroup, I'm going to leave it as workgroup. And I'm going to do Shift G in order to go to the end of the file. And I'm going to uh, hit the letter I in order to go into insert mode. So this one, I'm going to call it JSmith. And then for comment, I'm going to say JSmith home directory. And then for path, this is the path of this directory in your system. I'm going to say um, Samba JSmith browsable equal no. So we want to allow only to this user 
um, the rights to see the content of this directory, read only equals no. One setting that you might want to consider is guess okay and set this to yes, but in, in this case, we don't want uh, guess to have access to this uh, directory. Um, so I'm going to say create mask equals to 0755 in writable equal yes. And that's about it. I'm going to press escape, column WQ. Next, uh, I want to uh, restart uh, Samba. So I'm going to say sudo system CTL restart uh, SMBD and NMBD. Okay. And next, I want to test the configuration of the Samba file. So I'm going to say test parm, press enter. And uh, we can see that loaded services file. Okay. And here's the uh, the configuration that we added. Okay, I forgot one uh, important piece of information is that before going to our Windows clients, we need to get the IF, the IP configuration of our server. So we're going to say IF config. And uh, in this case, my uh, IP address is 10.10.5.9. With that information, I'm going to head over my uh, Windows clients. In this case, I'm using Windows 10. Next, I want to go into my file explorer. And uh, in the taskbar, I'm going to do backslash backslash the IP address of the server. So it is 10 dot 10 dot 5 dot 9 backslash the name of the chair. In this case, J Smith. Press enter. All right, so at this point, uh, it's asking us to enter the network credentials. So I'm going to enter yes, Smith and the password for yes, Smith and press enter. And so next I'm going to create a directory. I'm sorry, create a file and I'm going to call it hello.txt. And I'm going to write hello world. Control S to save the file. Okay, so after we successfully um, access our share, a remote share, we want to create uh, a map drive to this share. So I'm going to click on this PC and I'm going to click on view, actually on computer, and I'm going to click on map drive. I'm going to select a drive letter and I'm going to say backslash backslash 10. 10.5 and that 9. You will change this according to your settings. And then I'm going to say J Smith. I'm going to leave it as reconnect as sign in and click finish. And uh, from now on, every time we are logging into Windows, we have this map drive, uh, a remote drive map into our computer. And so that's it for the configuration of Linux, uh, of Windows, I'm sorry. And next, let's go ahead and do the configuration of a Linux client. All right, so here we are, ready to configure uh, our Linux client. I'm using Linux Mint. So I'm going to open the terminal. And um, the first thing I'm going to do is sudo apt-get update and press enter. Once that's done, I'm going to upgrade install SMB client. Press enter, enter your password. Once the SMB client is installed, what I wanna do is to map the remote uh, share into my Linux server, into my Linux uh, client. So I'm going to create a mount point first I'm going to name it, uh, I'm, going to I'm going to place it inside my home directory and I'm going to name it JS Smith. And uh, next, I want to map or mount 
the remote share uh, into the JSMED directory. So I'm going to say sudo mount type CIFS. And the option that I'm going to pass here is the username, which is JSMED, and uh, followed by the remote share. And, and then the uh, the mount point, which is JSMED. Press enter, enter your password. And from that point on, you should be able to cd into JSMED. Do an ls, and this is the content of your uh, remote share. Also, um, it will display here in the home screen in, the, um, in your desktop um, as a file when you mount it. Okay, and that's it for this video. Uh, as always, remember to subscribe and give it a like. And uh, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.